if you're uploading your long form videos from the youtube app then you are very very wrong the reason why you are wrong is because the youtube app does not have all the uploading features that is needed to upload long form videos so if you are using your youtube app to do that you are not going to be reaching out to a wider audience so that is a very wrong thing for you to be doing with your you know with your youtube channel so always make sure that if you are about to upload you are uploading from the youtube dashboard that is the correct way to upload youtube videos especially long form videos so if you are uploading long form videos use your youtube dashboard or rather your youtube studio now in order to access your youtube dashboard you can simply access this dashboard from your pc browser or from your mobile browser but if you are doing it from a mobile browser just make sure that it is on desktop mode so that is the correct way to upload youtube videos on this video i'll be showing you guys eight important settings that you should always utilize to get better results whenever you are uploading here on youtube and please if you have any question do drop it in the comment section i'm going to reply immediately once i see it and do remember to smash that subscribe button to stay connected because i post a lot of tips and tutorials on a daily basis all right let's get right to it once on youtube simply go to your youtube studio once you get to your YouTube studio, that is the right way or rather the correct way to upload your long form videos. Because when you are uploading there, you'll be able to assess a lot of YouTube feature. So let me say you are about to upload. Simply just click this button. You can see this upload button. So that is the right place to upload your long form video. So you can assess all the YouTube features that can make your videos to reach out to a wider audience. The first settings that you want to look into when you are uploading is the category. So what you have to do is just scroll down when you are uploading to see the category section. So if you are like me that is uploading, you know, how to do things, you know, YouTube tips, tutorials, then you should always use, use this how to and style category. But if you are the type of person that is doing gaming content, then make sure you are using gaming. If it's entertainment, use entertainment. This is very, very important because you have to help the YouTube algorithm to know where to categorize your video into. So they will be able to show your videos to the right people. So that these people they will be able to watch your videos and then subscribe to your channel. Because if you are showing your videos to the wrong people, they won't be interested now. So you want YouTube to actually be showing your videos to the right people. So make sure that you always put your video in the right category when you're uploading. The second settings that you need to look into when you're uploading is this publish to subscribers feed. So what you have to do is just scroll down, click on show more to find these settings. Let me look for the settings for you guys. As you can see, it's right here under license. You can see this publish to subscriptions feed and notify uh, subscribers. Always make sure that this setting is, is on. It's very, very important because if it's on, YouTube will be able to like notify your subscribers that you have uploaded a new video. And also, it's going to show that new video in their subscription feed. That's very, very important. The only, the only time that you're allowed to like turn this off is, let me say you are uploading too many videos in a day and you don't want to annoy your subscribers so they won't start unsubscribing. That's the only time that you can turn it off. But if you're uploading just one video in a day or let me say three videos in a week, you don't have to turn it off. Always make sure it's on whenever you are uploading so that at least your subscribers will be able to be notified whenever you're uploading a new YouTube video. The third settings that you should always look into is this your future eligibility all you have to do is go to settings and then go to um, you know channel once you've gotten to channel you see it right here future eligibility so make sure that everything here is enabled you can see that my own is enabled and when you enable this it's going to give you a lot of you know it's going to enable your channel your channel to be able to use a lot of features like posting videos longer than 15 minutes costume thumbnails live streaming there are so many things that you'll be able to do once you once you enable this you can see them right here now so you can see them so you can go to your settings so you can see all the settings that you're actually missing out on or rather the features that you're missing out on so simply come here and make sure that you enable all these settings in the feature eligibility some of some of all these like this um this intermediate feature it has to do with verifying your number once you verify your number then this one will be enabled but this advanced um advanced features in, the, in order to do this one youtube will have to like scan your face so you have to do a video verification so it's going to have to like scan your face and you know check to make sure that you are not a bot and this is actually done with your phone because they are going to send you an email on your phone then once you click on it it will open up your camera and then they are going to scan your face to confirm that you are not a robot then after some few hours it's going to enable so make to, make sure to do that on your channel because if these things are not enabled youtube they are going to be treating your channel like it's a bot channel like your channel is owned by a robot because they don't actually push those kind of videos much so if you don't do this then youtube will not be pushing your video much because it will feel like your channel is a bot channel 
so make sure to enable all these things especially if you are a new youtuber so that youtube will be able to give your videos a chance and push them to a lot of audience so it's very very important the first settings that you should look into still in these same settings the same place that you found this feature eligibility just simply go to basic info once you get to basic info scroll down a little bit you see your channel keywords these keywords have to do with what your channel is all about like it has to do with you telling youtube what your channel is all about with words or rather the kind of videos that you upload so it's normal for you to like put words that you know describe the kind of videos that you upload here as you can see on my own i put i play stuff like grow your channel youtube growth tutorial videos easy tutorial videos get more subscribers get four thousand watch hours you know these are the kind of things that i placed on my own keywords so also go to your settings and go and check your keywords and make sure that you have a lot of words that are you know representing your channel here because if these things are not here youtube algorithm would not really like understand what your videos or rather your channel is all about so make sure that this is here on your channel so that youtube will be able to understand your channel and your videos better and push it out to much more people so make sure to do that on your channel the fifth settings to always make sure that you are utilizing is your end screen and your cards so when you're uploading you just simply go to video element and then add end screen and then add cards the reason why you should always do this is because this is a very good way to move traffic from one video to your other videos so that at least when they are done watching your video like end screen for example now they will be able to see your other videos at the end of your video that you place there so traffic will be able to move from one video to another thereby giving other videos views even videos that are like two years old on your channel you can put them on your end screen and then the traffic will be moving from your new videos to those videos so make sure you are using end screen and also using card and if you don't know how to use end screen i'm going to you know suggest the video on how to utilize end screen at the end of this video so you can wait on that so you can watch it and learn more on how to use end screen the six settings or rather upload settings that you should always look into when you're uploading is tags so in order to assess this just scroll down and then you see tags tags has to do with words that you know that people are actually searching for on youtube when they are looking for the kind of video that you're uploading or rather the video that you are, you are about to upload so make sure that you put a lot of tags here a lot of tags so that you know when people are searching for those things on um you know youtube youtube will be able to match what they are searching for with your video because your video actually have tags that has words that you know they are searching for so that is very very important so make sure that you guys are utilizing tags because this is going to help youtube algorithm to push out your videos to a whole lot of audience so make sure you are using tags on your videos another important thing to do when you're uploading is when you are done putting your tags in here this is actually a very very nice trick simply copy the tags you can see the copy copy icon so once you are done putting tags here copy those tags and then go to your description once you get to your description just scroll to the bottom and then you add a section called keywords or cool keywords once you've added that section just paste all the tags that you use on the video there the reason why this is important is because your description is actually the metadata of your video you know youtube algorithm they actually look at your description a lot so always make sure that those tags that you use you place them in a section called keywords in your description so that it will enable youtube algorithm to even better understand that video understand what people are going to be searching for when they are looking for your video so make sure that after you are done putting it tags, copy it and then apply it in the keyword section in your description this is another trick that can also help your videos to get much more views i mean myself i'm using it in my channel so you can give it a try on your channel and see how it goes the last settings that you need to look into is to make sure that your own tag is actually well done on your channel so in order to assess your own tab simply just click on this um customized channel that's only on youtube just click on customize channel once you've done that you are going to see your home tag so once you've done that you see this home tab over here just click on it once you click on that you'll be able to assess your home tab your home tab, your home tab is actually where people see when they come to your channel especially people that come to your channel for the first time so once you come here make sure that you put your channel trailer channel trailer has to do with like videos that people will see for the first time when they come to your channel and then also put a video for returning returning subscribers that's the video that people will see when they come to your channel for the second time so once you've done that put this for you section there that's the session that we have that will make youtube to like recommend videos that it knows that your your youtube viewers will actually want to watch so make sure to add that i'm going to show you guys how to add all this very soon so once you've done that add your popular video section then also add your you know single playlist section or maybe your multiple playlist section then once you've done that you can add your short videos at the bottom that's how i did my own so in order to add all these sections all you have to do is click this add button over here 
So once you click on this add button, you'll be able to add all the different sections that I just mentioned. You can see it over here, channel trailer, spotlight for you, videos, popular videos. Make sure that you add all these sections to your YouTube or you know home screen. So that when people come to your home screen or rather your home tab, they will be able to see a lot of videos over there that will make them to watch a lot of videos on your channel. So this is very, very important. So make sure that you are utilizing it on your channel. If you would like to learn on how to create beautiful channel banners that is going to look good on all devices, then watch this video right now to learn on how to do that. Because you know that when it comes to creating banner, it can be tricky. Sometimes you create a banner and someone will be looking at it with a mobile phone, it's going to look good. But someone else will be looking at it with a PC and it's going to be looking horrible. So if you know you are having that kind of issue or you don't know how to create banners at all, then watch that video that I just listed at the end of this video. Because I'm going to suggest the video at the end of this video so that you can easily access it and watch it. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys for sticking to the end of this video. And please do remember to smash that subscribe button to stay connected. Because I post a lot of tips and tutorials on a daily basis. And at the end of this video, you might see some of my similar videos. Or you might see some of my playlists. So you can watch that to learn more from my channel. Because you know, we learn every day. And that is it for that. I'll see you guys on my next video.